Ultimate Chalk Talk, where we talk everything sports. I'm Kevin Moss. And I'm Mark Rogers. This week in sports, we actually had the Orioles go 4-0 and off the start. That hasn't happened since 1996, whereas the Red Sox have gone 0-4, which hasn't happened since 1997. A weird change. Even though the Sox are struggling, it wasn't all bads. All other Boston teams had big wins this weekend, Bruins and Celtics. Here's a look at the game highlights. I've always wondered what it'd be like if I went to a big D1 school. Yeah, that's uh, that's probably something that uh, I I actually fantasize about too. Didn't you get an inside look? Huh. As a Springfield College student, I always wondered what it would be like if I went to a D1 school with a big sports program. After UConn won the championship, I went to UConn and tried to gain the experience of what it feels like win a Division I National Basketball Championship. So take a look at what it's like to be winning. Immediately after the game was over, students rushed from their local dorms to Gamble Pavilion. Outside the gym, there was a stage set up with a DJ music. There were students in trees, Crowd surfing. Dance circles. And even some fellow Springfield students who started the Yukon Channel. But some students took the celebration a little bit too far. 23 people were arrested that night for everything from being drunk in public, drunk driving, recklessness, and damaging school property. Too bad for Channel 8, this reporter got the better footage and experience of a lifetime. And we're back! In case you missed it, here's a look at the game highlights from UConn's victories. You kind of have two wins over the past four days. And that's Chalk Talk. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Kevin Moss. And I'm Mark Rogers. Be sure to tune in next week because we'll be going over the NFL Draft, which starts on the 28th.